Weekend Modder here with a quick, uh, kind of out of the ordinary proof video. I don't normally do a proof video for a chip or accessory purchase, but this time I just thought it might be worth reminding everybody that I do have Nandexes available for sale on my store. And uh, just kind of a quick overview of what this came with and what this guy bought. I'm not going to talk specifically about who he was. Uh, he knows who he is that bought this. but uh, So Nandex... Uh, comes in the package obviously right so it's all wrapped up in the little bubble wrap everybody knows what a Nandex looks like it's this little plastic dealie here uh, you get a set of wires so these are what I solder into pretty much every console that I do that's not a 4 gig NAND um, I actually extend these by uh, tagging on little uh, resistor legs and then put a little shrink heat shrink tubing over that heat shrink tubing over that so that uh, you get a little bit better life out of one set of cables. Um, and then you get this little package here, which is a very short USB cable that will allow you to plug the Nandex in. You get the Nandex to Cool Runner style programming chip. And here's the other thing. This is the little bit that I add on, specifically me, that I'm not aware of any other seller has as an option. And it's the stupidest little thing, but it's so freaking useful is this little uh, six pin header. And what that does is you take your Nandex programming cable and you slide that six pin header on there and then it sits in there and exposes all those out as pins. And then when you're gonna go to program and when you are going to program an ACE chip, you can simply insert those pins, uh, TMS as this is labeled, TMS goes into the square pinhole. So let me see if I can get this to focus. TMS on that end there goes into the square pinhole. And uh, you just insert it with those pins, give it a little bit of sideways pressure, and you can program it without having to solder to this ACE chip in this tiny little configuration. And it's just a hassle, right? So you get this little useful de deal. Um, and then you can always just slide it back out and then if you need to program like a cool runner rev c chip right then the the cable still works to just slide right on those uh, or any of the other team executor style stuff so anyway all of this all in and then priority mail shipping so it's going to be to the guy's house in two or three business days only ran him 65 bucks and i know that's a little bit on the pricey side uh, when when you think about well, I can just pay seventy five to Weekend Modern and he'll do my uh, console. But think about this: is all of this is totally reusable. The only thing that you would burn up on a console mod would be one of these, and I sell those on my site for six ninety nine plus like two bucks shipping. So for eight dollars, he could do console number two. So now his average per console is down to like thirty bucks. So get you and a buddy together. Buy one of these things, and you you RGH each other's consoles, work teamwork, and uh, make it happen. So anyway, that's my sales pitch. I guess is what it really is. Um, this is a I've got like nine of these on the shelf. Um, they go quick when they go. I can get more. I do have a pretty good supplier. Um, the uh, pin headers are easy to come by, but I just have a little stockpile of them here, and I break you off a little piece when I need to um, for this. And then I've got the ACE chips up on the site too, so if you're interested in those. Uh, I don't really have the uh, Cool Runner Rev C's up on the site. I don't usually keep those in bulk enough to sell them. Uh, but if there's enough demand, let me know. I mean, you know maybe make some comments or whatever, and uh, I, I would consider it. And here's a quick sneak peek on another little enhancement that's going to come to my web store soon. So what this is, is the Matrix SPI... NAND flasher. Let me see if I can get this video to focus. Here we go. Matrix SPI NAND flasher. Now this is a really basic little NAND flasher that's capable of reading and writing to 16 megabyte NAND consoles, which is everything except for the Corona 4 gig. Um, well, I, actually it'll read to the 256 and 512 meg NANDs as well. And then what I've done here is taken that same pin header idea uh, on this pin header, I have extended and soldered on, you know, seven of those, the same thing that was over here on the Nandex, right? And then, because it takes seven wires to read and write to the NAND. And then what I have here are some nice short little cables that my intention is I, when you do a send-in service or buy a console from me, I can pre-install this and leave it 
permanently installed in the console. So this would be dangling inside your console. Like we would tape it down and make it secure, but this would be always inside your console. And if you ever managed to brick yourself, what you could do is just simply open the console. It's really easy right underneath the DVD drive, or maybe we could even snake these all the way outside of the casing depending on the customer's desire. But anyway, all you would have to do would be um, plug your programmer into the existing, pre-existing, installed by me wires. You never had to touch a soldering iron, and now you can flash your NAND back even if you hardware brick yourself. So I'm, I'm thinking for an unbrickable improvement like that, I would, I would sell you and give you, with your purchase, a matrix flasher and then have this pre-installed and it's going to be like a 20 or 30 dollar upgrade on a console brush uh, because I can get these chips, these matrix flashers pretty cheap, you guys can go out and buy them and then I can get these wire sets at a reasonable cost and then it's just a little bit of extra labor on my part so I haven't found out or figured out the exact pricing yet I have to look at all the numbers and stuff and I want to be fair uh, but I also think that's a pretty cool thing and I could maybe even offer that as a standalone send in service if enough people are interested send your already RGH console in if you want it made brick proof that sort of thing so anyway, um, this video went longer than I intended. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, have a great day.